In this lecture, we shall learn MBC routing, MBC routing. So we are continuing our previous exercise where we learnt that the URL has a number of parts. One is for the controller, the other is for the action and there could be one for the parameters. Today we are extending that discussion to MBC routing. We shall analyze the previous exercise where we left it. Our hello world example and now we shall continue that. We can just revise where were we. We had added home controller and it has a method called index. This is the action method and uh, then we saw global.ax acx file and uh, we were worrying about root config. The details of this are in this class. Let us see that class now. So here we had learnt that a URL is split into three parts controller action ID. Supposing somebody writes slash home slash index slash 5 then controller will be home action will be index and ID parameter would be 5. If somebody wrote slash blog slash year slash 2012 then blog would be the controller. The first part is the controller. The second part is the action. Year would be the action. And third part is ID parameter. Now let us begin to analyze this. Here it says ID is optional. Optional means if it is not there then still the call will pass to this which is a function that doesn't take any parameter. Had we uh, let me close this. Had we written it like this ID had we been silent on ID like this. If I remove ID and try to run it now it will give error because ID is no longer optional. It has to be passed. And if you are running it like this, then you get like this, then you are getting this error because ID had to be passed. Home is defaulted, index is defaulted, but ID is neither defaulted nor made optional. So that is why this is giving error. ID is neither optional, this ID is neither optional nor defaulted. Okay. 
let me now roll it back i write id is equal to url parameter dot option i bring it back now and i am coming to the home controller here i am writing string id and let me write it plus id i have made this change now now we shall run and see what is the output if we press control plus f5 to run then the url in the address bar will be localhost something by this is going to be typed in the address bar this means home by index this is implied because home and index are defaulted but id has not been passed so it it will be treated as null here so you are likely to get hello world colon id it will be null let us see so you can verify that id is null it is null because id no default was given default value of string is null it has been picked up no default parameter was specified it was optional so the browser did not have any complaints and it didn't and mbc did not pass anything here the result would be hello world like that now let us change this address bar to slash home slash index slash 45 so we have typed this now 45 will be passed into this id this 45 this becomes the controller this becomes the action and this is the id and as a result you see hello world 45 now let us see a bit of more changes here remember this rule for mvc mvc is very strict about parameter names what is the name of this parameter it is id it tries to match this id with the root config file see this id is matched with this this because if i change the name of the parameter to id new and write id new then id new will never get the value of 45 even if i type it there 
run it so let me type here home by index by 45 it will never get even though I have typed the same thing here home index 45 this went to the controller this went to the action but this did not go to id new because id new is not same as small id it is definitely new for you because we have been told ever since c language that int sum int i this i can be even j also give it any name it is an identifier but in case of mvc architecture the parameter identifiers are very much important id new is not same as id see here we changed it to id new when things went wrong bring it back change it to id now things will become ok let me write here by home by index by 45 and it starts working correctly so you should be very careful about these names second example now see the second example now now I am writing here string str comma string id comma string uh, s t r new and here I am writing hello world I am writing str plus hello world plus a b c plus str new now you will expect a very strange thing this one says that id is the name of the parameter if i come here and if i type in the address bar slash home slash index slash 25 this is no doubt controller this is no doubt action 25 is id 25 will be passed here i have deliberately put it inside mvc automatically searches it if it finds it passes the value if it doesn't find it doesn't pass it ignores str it ignores str new null null but it finds mysteriously it finds this id and passes 25 there so in this case the output would be hello world 25 abc have a look again this is id it will find this id inside the list of parameters this is id this was id run it and see slash home slash index slash 25 enter look it has ignored the first one it has ignored the last one because they were never passed 25 gets this id so i hope i am clear here attempt this exercise
modify this URL to include one more parameter called ID2. Make it optional. It should look like this controller action ID ID2. This is the first thing you should do. Second thing, create an action index2 and pass string id string id2 string s and it should have three arguments string id string id2 string s this is s is a parameter name try to print some message here with these and pass various combinations of these id and id2 let us see whether you can do it. So we will stop today's lecture right now. Thanks.